Hey there, in this quick lesson we're going to teach you how to create a website screenshot using the Laravel framework and a popular PHP package. So you could type in a URL at the end of your website, like URL equals devdojo.com, and it will show a screenshot of that website. So let's get started. Okay, so what we have in front of us is a blank Laravel web application, and I also have a virtual host at website screenshot.dev that is pointing to this application. So we're going to go ahead and dive into the code and go to the app HTTP routes file and the home directory is where we are actually going to add our code. So I'm going to capture an input and print this out to the screen. So if I go to my website and I type in question mark URL equals let's say google.com, then it's gonna print it out to the screen. So we want to capture this web URL, this website, and then get a screenshot and then display it on the screen. So the package that we're using is called PHP Phantom JS, and I will provide this link below the video. And we could scroll down and there's installation instructions right here, and it has us add some, some files to the composer.json. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my composer.json file and just add the necessary strings right here. And I will also add this in the update command. And this is going to guarantee that we have phantom.js in our bin directory. And we will need to specify where that bin directory is at. So I will copy this and paste it right there. And I will save that file, go back to the website. And one last step is to require the PHP phantom.js. And I'll go ahead and require that. Okay, so let's go back to the Phantom JS website, the PHP Phantom JS website, and I will want to go to usage and I will want to scroll down to screen capture. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this code in my routes. And I will also need to make sure that I use the correct client. And one other thing is we want to capture the URL that the user passes from the get param and I will want to change my file location to let's go with screenshot screenshots slash file.jpg so this screenshots folder should exist inside of our public directory so let's go ahead and go to our public directory we don't have it so let's go ahead and make that directory screenshots okay and let's go ahead and go back here and let's print out the image so we know where it's going to be. It's going to be at screenshots slash file.jpg. And we'll go ahead and save this and go back to our web application. And I'm going to get a screenshot of devdojo.com. And uh, if you do receive this error, it's probably because phantom.js is not writable in the screenshots folder. So what we can do is we can kind of just uh, work around that is we can say where we want the file to save to the bin directory and then move it to our screenshots folder. So I'm going to go back here and type in client. I want to make sure that the bin directory is set to our bin directory. So I will set that and then I want to specify our file is going to be it's going to save to our bin directory and then after we have captured that image then we want to move it to our screenshots folder and we want to move this to screenshots and let's go ahead and save that and let's give it a try again And sure enough, we have the website screenshot in front of us. And I could go ahead and go to that folder if I would like, public screenshots. And we have that file right inside of here. So you can see just how easy it is to include this package and then start getting screenshots of any URL that you type in to the get param. Uh, it's very easy to use and I would recommend using this package. And if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to let me know and I will talk to you next time.